Annually, the United States alone produces over 30 billion screws. This process begins with the detailed selection and preparation of raw materials such as steel, stainless steel, and brass, each selected for its distinctive properties suitable for various applications. Steel is chosen for its strength and durability in general-purpose screws, stainless steel for its resistance to corrosion in outdoor environments, and brass for its electrical conductivity and resistance to corrosion in decorative applications. The heading process is an essential step in screw manufacturing, where the raw material is transformed into the screw's basic shape. This starts with cutting the raw material, typically steel, stainless steel, or brass rods, into specific lengths that match the desired screw size. Each piece is accurately measured to ensure consistency across the batch. Once cut, these pre-measured pieces are fed into high-speed automatic cold headers, machines designed to forge the screw heads. During this process, the metal is cold worked, which involves forcing the metal into dies under high pressure to form the head and basic thread patterns without heating. This method improves the metal's hardness and strength due to the work hardening that occurs during deformation. The cold heading machine quickly stamps the head shape into the cut wire using a series of dies and punches. The first die shapes the underside of the head and subsequent dies form the top and any recessed drives, such as Phillips or flathead shapes. To form the threads on a screw's shank, the pre-formed screw blanks are placed between two hardened steel dies that have the negative image of the thread pattern. These dies rotate and press against the shank, molding the threads by displacing the metal without cutting, which strengthens the threads by compacting the steel's grain structure. This rolling process not only enhances the screw's tensile strength and fatigue resistance, but also minimizes material waste compared to thread cutting. The dies accommodate various thread sizes and patterns, contributing to the production's flexibility. After rolling, the screws have fully formed threads with a smooth, durable finish that boosts resistance to wear and stripping, ensuring each screw's dependability for its intended applications. After thread rolling, screws are subjected to heat treatment to further boost their strength and durability. This process involves heating the screws to a high temperature, then rapidly cooling them in a process known as quenching. The rapid cooling modifies the metal's microstructure, increasing its hardness and strength. Following quenching, the screws are tempered. This stage involves reheating the screws to a lower temperature to alleviate the brittleness that quenching can introduce. Tempering achieves a balance between the screw's hardness and toughness, making it less likely to break under stress. To guard against corrosion and wear, screws are often treated with various platings and coatings. These surface treatments boost the screw's resistance to environmental factors and mechanical wear, prolonging their usable life. Common coatings include zinc, widely used for its ability to offer sacrificial protection. This means the zinc corrodes before the underlying metal, thus protecting the screw. Nickel is another popular choice for its smooth finish and resistance to corrosion, particularly in humid environments. Chromium is chosen not only for its hardness and superior corrosion resistance, but also for its aesthetic appeal, providing a bright, shiny surface. These coatings are typically applied using electroplating methods, where the screws are immersed in a solution containing the plating metal and an electric current is used to deposit the metal onto the screw's surface. This method ensures a uniform coating, even on complex geometries, making it ideal for screws of all shapes and sizes. Testing procedures are comprehensive, including tensile strength tests to evaluate the screw's ability to withstand forces that try to pull it apart. Torque tests are also conducted to measure the screw's resistance to twisting forces, ensuring that it can be tightened to the appropriate degree without shearing or stripping. In addition to mechanical tests, screws may undergo visual inspections to identify surface defects and dimensional inaccuracies. Advanced imaging and measurement tools are often utilized to conduct these inspections, providing precise and reliable data. Screws are carefully packaged according to their size, type, and customer specifications to ensure they arrive at their destination in optimal condition. Packaging typically involves sorting screws into uniform batches, which are then placed into durable containers, such as boxes or plastic bins, labeled with detailed information about the contents. This information often includes the screw size, type, material, and quantity, facilitating inventory management and ease of use for customers. The screws are sometimes also packaged in bulk for industrial use or in smaller, pre-counted packages for retail sales, depending on the needs of the market. 